Sports Minister Natin Tetwa has slammed the EFF's picket tomorrow outside the department's offices to demand the opening of stadium, saying that the move is misguided and bizarre. The EFF will tomorrow picket in Pretoria against the lockdown restrictions that only allows 2,000 spectators at stadiums as the EFF are calling for a 50% attendance. Joining me to discuss tomorrow's plans in the capital city is the party's Secretary General, Marshal Lamini. Marshal, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. Well, the minister has sent out a statement slamming tomorrow's uh, planned picket, saying that he does not understand why the party is going to the department when there's, this is a matter based on a Disaster Management Act. What are your thoughts with regards to this? No, afternoon and afternoon to the viewers of, at home. Nati must not speak like a coward uh, be, behind statements. Tomorrow we are at his office uh, in Tswane, picketing to demand to open the stadium. If you think, if it thinks our picket, uh, it's uh, it's not the right picket. Let him be, uh, let him be a man and come to to meet us on the picket line, and then we must tell it in our face that what we're doing it's uh, we're not supposed to do. So he's just a coward because he belongs to. The ruling government who uh, are just a bunch of cowards, all of them. Anyway, the the because the closing of stadiums is not scientific. They've opened everything else in the country, mm -hmm. and then they close uh, the, the 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 soccer stadiums. They close the cultural uh, centers, the, the, even the theaters. Some of them are still not open, and there's no signs around it. They don't know. They're not giving any explanation, and we know that the the, re the reason for that is because. Some uh, companies who are, are making money through TV viewership and everything, especially on sport, they are the ones who are benefiting. There's no explanation of why our people are not allowed to go to stadiums because going to stadiums is not just people who go there to uh, to watch soccer games or cricket or, or, or rugby, mm. but there are people who are making a living uh, through those uh, through those activities through that industry. We're talking from security. People in the hospital industries, our mothers and fathers, who are selling uh, uh, around the stadiums each and every weekend. You can go to places like Orlando Stadium. There were families that have been sustained by that stadium for the longest time. Today, those families they don't have an income because of some stupid regulations of a government that cannot think. There is no science. They can't tell us what are the issues. They've opened the mining industries. Political parties who were in a campaign last year uh, for three or for two months. ANC was in a campaign. There were no issues of uh, of uh, COVID-19 because it was of their own interest because they wanted to hold on to power. And we said it was not feasible to, to do elections because of the COVID-19, but they went ahead, they took us to elections. Immediately after that, they opened the alcohol. Uh, when the alcohol industries, because they've got money, they pushed them to open, they removed the curfew. The only thing now is, is the stadiums and there's no science, there's no explanation why you can't, uh, why you can't open stadiums. And to show that they, 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 they are slow thinkers, they are not saying to us how many people are vaccinated in South Africa. And out of those people, are you saying those that are not vaccinated are these that uh, exclusively go to the stadiums to watch soccer? So you can see that it's a madness led by clowns. So we don't have time for that. We are demanding that the stadiums and all other cultural venues, including uh, the music, where they do music shows and everything else, it must be open. So, because we need to save the livelihood of our people, especially in a country where the levels of unemployment are so high and our people are just dying and swimming in a pool of poverty. Marshall, what brought the party then to make this decision now? Uh, was there external stakeholders that called on you guys to go and um, negotiate with the minister or did you decide by yourselves as the EFF to take this particular step? EFF is grounded uh, within communities. So we've got uh, our members, we've got members of communities who've been crying and, and talking to the leadership of the organization to say, we are the forgotten ones. They've opened everything else except us. The, the arts industry, each and every media statement, the president and the commander in chief of the EFF has, has, has always explained on how the artists are suffering. The people who are uh, making their livelihood around the, the, the stadiums who are selling there, they are part of the, the communities that the EFF exists, uh, exists within. So they communicated with us and uh, were always uh, on the side of the defenseless, on the side of the weak, because the only reason why the stadiums are not open is the abuse of our, of, of our people because they've got no one to defend them. But the EFF is here for the forgotten and the, and the defenseless uh, members of our society. 
So that is why we're taking up this battle on our own, like all the battles that we've taken up on unemployment and everything else. We are demanding that the stadiums, they must be open. There's no scientific reason, of, or even health reason. Uh, the Minister of Health, they've, they've not said anything to us about uh, uh, why is it dangerous to open, uh, to open the, the, the stadiums. The stadiums are open all over the world, even here in the continent now. There's AFCON and the stadiums are open, but here in South Africa, and, and, and our suspicion is just because they've taken the money of uh, those uh, that are running the, 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 the soccer industry uh, making profit through TV viewership. So then what happens if uh, the Department of Sports does nothing with regards to your demands? I do know that you did say that then you're going to take it to picketing outside the PSL and SAFA, but what happens if nothing happens to with no, regards to your demands? We're going to continue to, no, we're going to, continue to, to put pressure. Remember, we're not cowards. We, We'll put pressure in every way uh, necessary. We'll continue picketing. We'll uh, do everything within our powers until the stadium is done. We're going to win this battle like all the battles that we have won since the existence of this organization. Every battle that we take on, we won it, we win it. When people, they keep on saying, what happens if uh, they don't open? Nothing to it will open, or you must know that his number is a number as a minister of sport. We're going to make sure of that. Because he, he is the one who's supposed to be leading in the forefront and explaining to our people why he's not opening. But he's a coward who hides behind letters. Tomorrow we are inviting him. He must come there and meet us on the picket lines and tell us the nonsense that he's been saying on that statement to demonstrate that he's a man of his word and he's not a coward. So we're going to continue and do everything in our power to make sure that those stadiums and all the other, uh, other cultural uh, sport, uh, uh, places are open. So we, we're not stopping tomorrow. We just got him. So you must take that as a warning in the entire ANC government. All right. Give us an outline of what is going to happen tomorrow. Is there a memorandum that you're looking to hand over to the minister? Look, we will decide when we're there because sometimes we hand over memorandum to these cowards who can't even uh, process this memorandum. So we are meeting tomorrow at uh, 202 Matiba Street, which is supposed to be the head office of the uh, Sports Arts and Culture. Uh, and it's supposed to have people who are working, who, can, who are thinking and worried about uh, the livelihood of the people that are within this that industry. So we're meeting there from 11 o'clock, and then from uh, once we are there, we've invited all the other stakeholders, including fans and people that work in this industry. They are joining us, so we'll meet there, and then uh, once we are there, we'll determine the course of action. Marshall Dlamini, who is the EFF's uh, Secretary General, just talking about uh, EFF uh, picketing tomorrow outside the offices of the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture. I do know that uh, it does start at 11 o'clock tomorrow.